Hello everyone and welcome to the South Hill Compost Channel. Today I've got another video lined up for you. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this one. It's all about what the signs of a healthy worm bin are. Up first, the worms reproduce. Worms can easily double their population every 90 days given the right environment. So even with only a few worms to, at the start, you can expect them to multiply and fill the compost bin and eventually meet whatever demand for recycling organic waste that you have. They produce compost. Worms need to eat to produce worm castings and for them to do this, they first need to stay alive and thrive in your bin. The compost does not stink. A bin with a healthy environment for the worms should not smell foul. If the bin stinks, that may mean that there are too many food scraps that the worms cannot keep up with and they cannot digest. The scraps may be too big to break down, or there is food waste that shouldn't have been in the bin in the first place. Are the worms working fast to compost your food scraps? Are the worms coming to the top frequently to eat? Do you see big balls of worms feeding when you check on them? The bin should have a good earthy smell to it when you smell it up close. Their bedding is disappearing over time and turning into worm castings. The worms are reddish brown and not whitish in color and their skin should be glistening when you look at them, and the bin itself seems airy and not stagnant. When the worms see light, they should try to get under the bedding as fast as possible, and they should disappear in about 15 minutes. If your bin is on the colder side, they will not be as active, so you will want to keep this in mind if you are checking on them in the cold weather. If your worm bin is going well, keep doing what is working. In the bin, it's when you start to change things that trouble can start in your bin, and you don't want that. You just want to keep things going the way they are. If it's going well, try not to change too much. If you're going to change stuff, you want to do it in small increments. Don't change a whole bunch of things at once, like if you're using one type of bedding and it's working well. Then you want to stick with that type of bedding. You don't want to go and suddenly change it on the worms. That's only going to cause issues most of the time. So re you really want to make sure that you're keeping your worm bedding and other things the same if it's working well. It's like the old adage, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I've done a few things differently over the time that I've been worm farming, and that's usually when I run into issues. I decided I'm going to ch try to change something, and I really didn't need to. I like to keep things working the same. I find that works well for me. I think the best thing to, is to always check your worm bin at least every two or three days and just check on the worm's health. Look at the worms and make sure that they look healthy and that everything is going well in the bin. It's nice to pick up a few worms and just look them over and just see if they're wiggling around and, and if they're looking healthy. They should have a nice color to them and they should be very active. So with that, I'll wrap up this video for today. I hope that you guys have learned something about worm health and how to keep your worms healthy. These are some good little tips that I've learned over time. So I hope that they can help you out too. If you like this video, I hope that you'll subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. I thank you all for joining me in supporting the channel. I hope you guys all have a great day and thank you.